Caitlin, Mark. Hey, congratulations on your new film, Kung Fu Games. Thank, thank you, you good so sir. much. Thank you for having thank us. You. Hey, yes, no, great to be here. First. Thank you for speaking to us. You know, this this film is so fun because it brings back a lot of memories of all the different kung fu movies that I've watched uh, when when I was a when I was a lot younger. But tell us what initially drew you that you wanted to be a part of this project. So for me, first and foremost, um, you know, being a martial artist since I was six years old and growing up in the martial arts world, obviously watching martial arts films going on to compete and then now into the industry. I just love that we could show the audience through this storyline, our martial arts skills and our acting skills, and we could kind of combine forces and and present Kung Fu games. I think it's gonna be a fantastic uh, film that everyone's gonna love. All the action is amazing. Like you say, it brings up um, different scenes from different films that we kind of highlight and uh, everyone does their own stunts, which is super great. So I'm super excited to be a part of it. And I think everyone's going to love the film. Mark? And same with myself. I, I, I've been doing, uh, I've been in martial arts movies for a long time. I grew up watching martial arts movies and it's an absolute pleasure to be here working uh, with Tiger Style Media. Um, and obviously released through Paramount, um, the actual uh, Kung Fu Games. Kung Fu Games for me, um, it's, I'm super, super proud of it. It's, um, it's got everything I've ever wanted all in one movie, um, which is great. We've got weapons, we've got martial arts, and the storyline is fantastic. It's some lovely twists, which is exciting. I'm so excited for the viewers to see it. <laughs> I'm a, I'm always curious about uh, you know um, for for you folks being trained in martial arts is what are you what is your personal specialty and how do you adjust to all the different fighting styles um, that comes with a film like this? Mark, let's start with you. For me, I uh, I started with Chinese martial arts uh, from ten years old. Um, I um, studied many different styles from Wing Chun, um, Shaolin, Wushu. Uh, I actually trained with the Shaolin monks in China uh, when I was 20 years old. Uh, so I, I learned a, a variety of different styles, uh, weapons and armed. And when I went into doing movies, um, I kind of learned as much as I possibly could because I, you know, the, the Japanese style, Korean styles, because I knew the more in my kind of ammunition that I had, um, it's kind of like to put on screen, like in Ip Man, for example, I was a karate champion. I've no, I never, what I never studied karate, but you learn as much as you can to put on screen. And, and, um, yeah, it's, that's my journey, really. I, I literally uh, studied mainly Chinese martial arts and competed for Great Britain as well, which was a lot of fun. Caitlin? So I started martial arts at six years old. My main three styles, my first was Chinese Kempo. I went to Japanese Goju Ryu and then Taekwondo. But kind of similar to Mark, I think in the film industry, you learn a lot along the way uh, because every character demands a different kind of style and you possess a different kind of role in, in that. So you have to uh, really adapt to the character and the style that you're learning in that moment. So whether that's just extra practice, um, different film study, uh, because there are so many different kinds of martial arts and every character kind of culminates a different one. So here in Kung Fu Games, we really had to put all of our styles kind of together. And I think we got to highlight what each of us were good at um, there's some, like Mark said, weapon fights throughout. So it kind of has everything, like he said, there's, there's so much that you're going to see throughout this film. And, um, I think it's very cool that we all kind of get to show our styles within, uh, within the film. So I think, I think everyone's going to love what we've put together as a whole. For that sure. <laughs> Now, which is your favorite set or scene out of this film that uh, that reminisce your your you know your memories that you love to be in, Caitlin? That is so hard. I've literally sat so long and have thought about this question. Like, man, what's my favorite? Um, 
Oh gosh, I would have to say bamboo forest and I'm not going to give away a certain trick I throw within that, but it's kind of more my signature uh, move. But then you're going to see in tea house, um, I use a sword. So obviously if anyone knows me and has followed my martial arts journey, you're going to know that sword's been my weapon that I competed with for pretty much most of my career. And I think that's going to be everyone's kind of favorite is just me wielding a sword. So Oh, but they're all so good. I just don't want to give away too many spoilers, but mm, yeah, I, I'm going to stick with those two for now. <laughs> Mark? For me, oh, my friends, I, I love the whole film. I, I, I think there's so many great memorable moments and scenes. Um, for me, um, wow. I really do love uh, the tea room scene. Uh, which um, which the tea to the tea house, which is fantastic, um, purely because there's a variety of weapons, and there's one weapon that I use in that sequence that I learned when I was 20 years old in in China, and I thought I would never use this in a movie, <laughs> and I use it in this film, and um, I'm not saying what it is. You'll have to wait to see. <laughs> nice. Let, let me wrap it up with one last question here. I, you, sure. you, you folks have a long career in the stunt world and action films. When you get a role like this where you're front and center, how much do you relish a role like this? Mark? For me, everything, my friend. I, um, you know, I started acting when I was like, um, wow, when I was probably about 12. Uh, it was movies that really influenced me back then in the 80s, uh, 90s action scene. And for me, uh, it kind of, um, for this, it's it's the dream to do action and act all in one, doing your own action, doing your own fight sequences. Um, and the work rate is second to none. You have to be focused 100% uh, to deliver the best performance you possibly can as an actor and as a screen fighter. Uh, merging them together is one of the hardest jobs on the planet. Um, but uh, but for me, it's, I love what I do and I love giving it a million percent on, on screen. And um, I believe that everybody are going to love Kung Fu games because everyone has brought the A game to the screen on this one. Caitlin, last word. I couldn't agree with you more. Um, for me, this is an absolute dream come true. I got into the, the industry more in the stunt world, but always with the hopes and wants to act. Um, so I kind of bounce between the two. But uh, thankfully to Shannon McIntosh and Tiger Style Media, they've given me this amazing opportunity to jump into this role. And, and it's a challenge. Like Mark said, it's a challenge to have to be on your A game acting and then be on your A game fighting because there are no days off. There's there's no, oh, my double's gonna go do it so I could kind of hang out on this day. It's like we were full force, packed schedule. If we weren't rehearsing uh, scenes, we were rehearsing fights. If we were shooting fights, we it was like nonstop from beginning to end. So for me, like I said, absolute dream to do both. This is where I hope to continue to go even more to just show that I could have that on-screen presence as an actress, but also perform my own fights, which I think is just cool because it's me the whole time. It's my face, my action. And um, so I'm so thankful. And like Mark said, I think everyone is going to absolutely love Kung Fu Games. Well, I certainly do. So Caitlin, Mark, thank you very much uh, for our Thank you, good sir. Really thank you. It. Thank you.